I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with y'all. I'm really nervous about this video right here because this could make or break how y'all perceive me as a person. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Or if y'all are new, welcome to the channel. It's Jeremiah Two Fly, and I am back once again with another video today. As y'all see by the thumbnail, and the title. We taking the IQ test. I've had friends in the past, associates in the past, who have told me that I'm a smart individual and not to brag or anything, but I see it, I see it. But here today, we're gonna test that. Cause I don't wanna just be smart. I wanna be a genius. I'm trying to see if I'm a genius. I'm trying to see if I'm Albert Einstein level genius or if I'm Kale level dumb. Let's just see how it goes, man. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do all that. I'm gonna put the link to the IQ test that I take down in the description so y'all can try it. Once y'all do take it, let me know down in the comments what y'all score was and we can compare, contrast, do whatever we need to do. Without further ado, let's dive right into the video. I'll roll my intro. Gotta play it one more time, bro. Well, I'm at a bitch in New York. She want me by the door. I tell a little bit hit the door. Selling out all of my toys. I'm bothering but I need some more. Remember I never was poor. Never will got both our doors. I need something that's like, you know what I'm saying? That tests my intelligence, not how well I can study patterns. Hopefully this is a real test. Okay, get ready. Make sure you're in a comfortable space where you can focus on the test. You're about to complete 20 visual questions that get more complex as you go. If you wish, see how you stand compared to the population. Get your certificate and blah, 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 blah. Let's start. 311 people are taking the test right now. That's interesting. I don't really care though. I want to take the test. All right, y'all, here it goes. process of elimination here okay all the stars are the same color so that's right this one went up left up right down this one went, went left up so the next direction is right boom okay let's look at the patterns up right down left up right down left up why am i actually stressing over this this is crazy three lines here three lines here Fill circle in the middle. Three lines, two lines, one of the lines are missing. Circle's not filled. Two line, two line, filled, okay. Two lines, two line, one line, not filled. One line, one line, filled. So now from the pattern that I'm seeing, it looks like they're getting rid of the bottom line first, so. This is the pattern. Two, four, you got eight. So that's doubling. Eight times two, 16 times two, that's 32. All right. Um, that one seemed relatively easy. One, two, three. What the hell, wait. Yeah, because I just add 1 plus 1 plus 1. I just 28 plus 28 plus 28. So then 56 plus 28, that's 84. Yeah, 84. It's 4 sides, 5 sides, 6 sides. It's 1 plus 1 plus 1. From what I'm seeing. Now, here, 16, 20. That's 16 plus 4. That's 20 plus another four, it's 24. Um, I'm assuming that's what the pattern is, so let's just see. Right, left, right, with no dot. Down, up, and I know the next is down. Okay, so this is plus 10 divided by two. I'm really good at math, that's why. So I'm recognizing all these number patterns. Three plus 10, that's 30, divided by two is 15. Eight. Plus 10 is 18, divided by 2 is 9. So 10 plus 10, 20, divided by 2, that's 10. What the hell is this? Okay. Okay, we're almost done, y'all. Five more questions. If they tell me I gotta pay for this, I'm gonna be mad. 
Okay, 73 minus 12, that's 61. Plus 9? Is that the pattern? That's what it looks like. And that's 58 minus 12, that's 46. 46 plus 9, that's 55. So plus 9, 78. Oh, is this time based? Like if I answer too slow, does that bring down my points? Let me know in the comments if y'all know if that's the answer. So I went triangle, circle, triangle when it comes to being filled. Now it's circle, triangle, circle. That's what I'm basing it off of. Okay. 1, 3, 3, 1, 5, 1, 5. Okay, okay, last question. Then we get the results, y'all. <laughs> you want to confirm your answers, you will not be able to edit them after validation. Man, I'm a genius. Now give me my test results. Give them to me. Checkout page. Check out page? The assessment of your IQ test is in progress, okay? Okay, I completed the test 90, faster than 94% of people. That's good to know. Remarkable performance in aspect and uh, uh, abstract reasoning. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean start your seven day trial for 790? I wanna do this. Give me one for the free! We find another test. That. That. This exam is untimed and users will be able to have instant results after completing the test. I better have instant results. Spending all that time hurting my damn head. Okay, if you rearrange the letters in C-A-R-A, -A, you have, uh, you have a continent. That's Antarctica. Now, these are questions I like. Hold on. Hold on. What is the next number in the series? Now, from what I'm seeing, 7 plus 7, 10, 16, 28, 52. What the hell? Okay. 3. And then that's plus 6. Plus 12. Plus 24. Each number that's being added on is doubling. Hear me out. Let me cook. So, then you have to do 52 plus 48. 52 plus 48. 100. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Um, which figure belongs in the empty spot? Fuck. Okay. Now I gotta look at the figure that hasn't been used yet. And it's gotta be the same straight line down. Well, straight line across. So we're gonna go with number three. Which conclusion follows from the statements with absolute certainty? None of the runners is a teacher. All of the attendees are runners. Okay. If the attendees are runners, but the runners are not teachers, that means the teachers are not attendees. A college professor teaches a class of 80 students. 14 students are business majors, 6 are education majors, and the rest are undecided. What percentage of the class is undecided? 14 plus 6, that's 20. I'm pulling out the calculator for this, I don't care. 14 plus 6, that's 20. 20. Okay, 80 minus 20, that's 60. 60 divided by 80, what's the percentage of that? 75%, boom. Afraid is too scared, as brave is too courageous. That's simple, come on. Organization hosts monthly meals for families in the community. In March, 70 people attended the meal. In April, 60 attended. Their highest, their highest attendance was in May, was 20 more than April. What is their month, their average monthly attendance? March it was 70, April it was 60, highest attendance was in May. It was 20 more than April, so that's 80. To calculate the average, right? You gotta do 70 plus 60 plus 80 divided by, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know if I'm doing it right. Plus 60 plus 80. Then you divide it by 3, right? 70 should be right. Because average, you gotta like divide the number of months, which is 3. Which figure belongs in the empty spot? Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. This timed? This isn't timed, right? 
Okay, it's not time, so I can I can work this out. Say less. I'm not even at the halfway point, bro. The first two statements are true. Is the final statement true? Okay, Mrs. Jones is responsible for collecting all of the fifth grade classes' money for the school fundraiser. And Sally attends Mrs. Jones' school. Mrs. Jones is responsible for collecting Sally's money for the fundraiser. Okay. Let's read it all again. Mrs. Jones is responsible for collecting all of the fifth grade class's money for the school fundraiser. Boom, we got that. Sally attends Mrs. Jones' school. Boom, got that. Mrs. Jones is responsible for collecting Sally's money on the fundraiser. Since she attends the school, since Sally attends the school, Mrs. Jones is at the school and responsible for collecting everybody else's. Wait, that's uncertain because we don't know if Sally's in the fifth grade. Mm -hmm. Think about it. So that's uncertain. So it could be true, but it also couldn't be true. Next, which three choices are needed to create the figure on the left? Only pieces of the same color may overlap. Okay. Damn, bruh. I'm thinking A. I'm thinking A, D, A, B, and D. No, no, no. A, C, and D. We gonna see. I don't know. Which three of the following words have the same meaning? Outstanding, a typical, attractable, intractable, distinguished, mediocre. I don't know. I hear astound, astound, outstanding, distinguished, intractable. They all sound like they have the same meaning. I'm not 100% sure though. Not a dictionary. What is the missing number in these series? Okay, 3, 9, 81. 15, 21, 71. So I'm so I'm not sure, bro. I'm just gonna guess on this one. I'm gonna say 22. Okay, which figure belongs in the empty spot? Damn, bro. I don't know. It's between one and two. I'm gonna go with one, cause I'm not sure, bro. No, it might. It, no, no, no. Two. Yeah, I'm locking that in. It's two. It's two. 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 The words allude and elude and elude have same opposite or unrelated meanings. Damn. I'm pretty sure the, the two meanings are unrelated. A movie premiered this weekend. 250 people attended the first showing. Of the 250, 75 were adults above the age of 40, 50 were between the ages of 20 and 40, and 25 were teenagers ages 13 and 19. What percentage of the attendees were children 12 and under? Let me add how many that is all together. 75 times 50. No, not times 50. Plus 50 plus 25. That's 150. That's 100 people remaining. So you gotta do 100 divided by 250. 40%. That's how many were ages 12 and under. That's good math. If the first two statements are true, is the third statement true? Mr. Reed teaches all the advanced math classes at his school. Billy attends Mr. Reed's school and is in an advanced math class. Mr. Reed is Billy's math teacher. Yes, that is that is certain. It's true. Which figure? Oh. I need, a stre I need a stretch. This is wearing me out. I ain't gonna lie. Which figure belongs in that empty spot? Bro, this is the, all these pattern things all, with all the shapes. They look, they, they're so, they're so difficult. I'm not a good, like, visual 
learner, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not good at that. Okay, Angie's profits for March totaled $5,400. If she profited nine times more in March than in April, what were April's profits? Okay. Now, that's, that's simple division. 5,400 divided by nine. That's 600, I believe. But let me make sure I'm right. Yeah, 600. If a store sold 25 pairs of socks, making a 25% profit of $150, how much did they charge for each pair? Okay. Okay, 25% profit. They sold 25 pairs of socks. Okay. 25% of 50, first, or 150, first of all, that's $37.50. Okay. Now, multiply that by 25. It's $937. There's no way they're charging $25. This is hard. Hold on. Yeah, this is hard. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe the 150 is the 25% of whatever is the total between how much they charge per pair of socks and the amount of socks sold. So let's say I did 15 times 25, that's 375. Multiply that by 25%. Hold up. 375, multiply that by 25%. It's 93.75, that's not it. Now let's do 20 times 25. 25% of 500. That's 25%, it's 125, it's not $20. Do 24 times 25. 600 times 25%, boom. 24 is the answer. Good process of elimination. I'm cooking right now. I'm cooking right now. Which figure ball? Here we go. All right. What question am I on? 20? Okay, I got 10 questions left. I'm, I'm, I am I'm. feel like I'm doing pretty good right now, but this is like wearing me the fuck out. I'm not gonna lie. I should. I'm gonna go eat after this. Because I'm starving. I'm gonna just guess on this one. Which three choices are needed to create the figure on the left? Only piece of the same color may overlap. Here we go. Okay, so we got three green right here. So we gotta have at least one like this. One like this. Okay, so only same colors overlap. So with that, I would say A. and E. Yeah, listen, yeah. Apathetic is to sympathetic as blank is to concerned. I forgot what apathetic means. If I knew that, I'm not cheating on this test. We gonna be real, real, real genuine with it. So I'm gonna guess. Callous or compassionate. I might go compassionate. Yeah. Okay, what's the missing number from the series? Okay, seven plus five, 12. Plus seven, 19. Let's try plus nine, 28. Plus 11, it's 39. Plus 30. Okay, yeah, 28. I'm assuming it's like. Every single number that's being added on to the next is being added by two. Okay, a family's planning a vacation traveling 300 miles from their house. They plan to stop at parks to allow their children to play every two hours. How many parks will they visit before they reach their destination? Assuming they travel 60 miles per hour. Oh, my head hurts. My head hurts. 300 miles from their house. They plan to stop at parks to allow children to play every two hours. They're gonna visit two parks. 
Okay, in the following set of words, which three wo which three words have similar meanings? I'm thinking endure, preserve, and persist. They all sound like they mean the same thing. I'm not 100% sure, but hey. The word gallant and valiant have... <sighs> I'm not cheating. I'm not gonna cheat with this one because all... I want everything. Every answer that I give to be extremely genuine based on the knowledge that I have. And I can own up to not knowing certain things. That's life. We're human. Yeah, not everybody knows everything. So let's be reasonable. <sighs> Alright. Which figure belongs in an empty spot? I hate these pattern type of questions. Okay, I see a random ad saying the average IQ in the US is 98. How do you compare? Okay, I'm I'm trying not to get 98. Okay, um, I'm keeping a buck 50 with y'all. I'm most likely gonna guess on this too. Let me keep it a buck. I don't plan to meet I don't plan to pay me. It's so embarrassing. Okay, uh, let's choose number seven. Let's choose seven. Ah, oh, three more questions, y'all. Okay, which of the following does not have the same meaning as the other words? Okay, anxious, apprehensive, distressed, enthusiastic, concerned. Okay, enthusiastic is the the is the odd one out here, so let's go with that one. What's the next number in the series? Four plus one, that's five plus six is eleven plus thirteen. Bro, what the hell? Okay. Four, five, eleven, thirty-four. 137 what the hell i'm gonna guess on this one what the, what except and except have okay they have different meanings please give me my results i've been waiting too long bro 91 to 110 so 110 i'll take it i'll take it i will take it all right that wraps that up to be honest. Bro, if I'm being if I'm keeping it all the way up, but I'm never taking an IQ test ever again. That shit was stressful as shit. I don't I don't wish that type of torture on anybody. Um if y'all wanna prove to people that y'all are genius, go right ahead, be my guest. If I don't got shit nobody and this test some taught me that let me know if y'all ever took the test i'm gonna put the link down in the description so y'all can go take the test yourselves let me know what y'all get that's the end of the video make sure you guys like comment subscribe turn on post notifications do all that share the video as well tell a friend tell a friend to tell a friend join the family we about to reach 500 subs and yeah, with that being said, thank y'all so much for watching. Now she to kick it every guys. day. She give me Next face. Mary video. Kate, all of you niggas, Peace this hype. Bust out Rolly Avalanche. Yeah, my old bitch average. This my first time rapping it. I might go retarded shit. Bentley Coop, I'm dashing it. Standing my money, I'm toilet shit. Told him, don't you doubt the kid. Told him, don't you doubt the kid. I run up 30 on 30 on 30. When I'm in the streets, I stay too sturdy.